Hey friends, so regardless of that silly intro that I just had there, I hope all of you guys are staying safe and that your families are safe and that you're staying home and that you're staying sane in these really, really weird times. I tend to turn to humor because otherwise I'm just going to be a depressed little fetus crying in the corner and ain't nobody got time for that. So. If you guys follow me on social media, you may know that I'm actually supposed to be in Germany right now, or I guess technically I would already be back now. You guys are actually items that I had bought specifically for our trip to Germany, um, but regardless, I decided to keep them and I like them. But let's just get right into my March favorites. Okay, so item number one are <laughs> these checkered vans. So I've been wanting these for like a year now and I kept going back and forth and been like, girl, you're in your thirties. You probably shouldn't be wearing these things, but you know what? Who cares? DSW was having a sale and I ended up getting them for like 30 bucks instead of 50 bucks. So I highly recommend DSW right now because they seem to be having some kind of a different sale every day that I look. I think I got these when they were 25% off and then I signed up for the email and got a $10 off coupon as well. So that was awesome. So I love these shoes. I don't care if I'm too old, I'm gonna wear them, I'm gonna rock them and I love them. Item number two is something, well, let me just show you. Okay, so this is, this is actually laundry detergent and it's Capri Blue Volcano. So if you guys have ever been to the anthropology stores or you just know what the volcano scent smells like, this smells like this. So when you wash your clothes, basically your whole house smells like this and it's delicious. I will link below where I got this. It's actually a local shop here in Texas that I found this at. Um, it says it does about 48 loads. So what I thought about doing is actually like, I have free and clear soap. So I was wondering if maybe I could just mix a little bit of this in with the free and clear so that it doesn't smell so strong and maybe get it to last a little bit longer. So I'll let you know how that goes, but I'm gonna link two below cause some people don't like the volcano smell. There is another one that they actually sell on Amazon that my mom uses and I think it's called Glam Wash. And it is this really, really beautiful like French floral smelling soap. Um, just look on the reviews, they speak for themselves. My mom uses it to wash all of her clothes and my stepdad has even said that he loves the smell and I don't think he wants his clothes to smell like that, but I think it would be great for like linens and towels and if you do, you know, your own delicates to use one of these beautiful smelling soaps. I just thought that this was so cool. I'm a sucker for anything volcano smell. And again, I had a coupon code, so I got this for like 20 bucks. Okay, moving right along. The next item is this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So this allegedly is a dupe for the Tatcha Primer, which is super expensive. Um, so I saw this and it had really good reviews and I saw it at Target BC before Corona. And I picked this up and I've been using it. Do, do, do. So I've been using it. You only need a teeny tiny bit. So I just like rub my finger in there and put it on before I put my makeup on, but it's clear, it's lightweight. Um, I've watched a tutorial where they say you like dig your nail in and you take like a pea size amount and spread it over your like pores and smile lines and under eyes and things like that. And I've really, really been liking this a lot. Um, I have super, super dry skin. So I've also been using this like between my eyebrows gets really dry and I've been using this there as well. And it does seem to help with creasing and like makeup coming off and stuff and less than $10. So that's always a win. And I'm sure you guys know, but Target, at least where I live, um, is doing curbside pickup. So you can order this and you don't even have to go inside. So that's a win. What a weird time we're living in guys. Okay, also, I just have to interject here at this point because if you watch the video at the beginning, maybe you can guess that I'm like totally obsessed with TikTok. Uh, hashtag moms of TikTok, hashtag over 30 on TikTok. It's quite pathetic, but it makes me so happy because like all the videos that I watch, they just make me laugh so hard. And I think that that's important right now. 
So I'm like living out my teeny bopper dreams and learning dances and just having so much fun. So if you're like me and you're on TikTok, um, I will leave my channel over here okay, somewhere. But I'd love to be friends and I'd love to see your videos, but that's one thing that I can actually recommend for these weird times is just join TikTok even if you don't make videos. Like there are some really, really funny people on TikTok and it's a great way to pass the time. Okay, so the next item that I'm gonna be telling you guys about is one of the items that I had bought specifically for travel. Haha, <laughs> we're not traveling right now. But they are these clear plastic bags. So it comes in a set of five and they're, that fell. So there's a silver one that just fell to the ground. But I love these for traveling. And you know what? These would even be great for like a diaper bag or your purse or your backpack. So what my plan was originally was that I was gonna put one in my husband's bag, one in my daughter's bag, and then have a couple in my bag because inevitably as the mom, you're just like the carrier of all the things. But I thought it would be cool to put snacks in one and then maybe put like wet wipes and disinfectant stuff and medicine and all of that in one because um, you know when you go to the airport they like to have liquids in clear bags so instead of using a Ziploc you can just use these and they're reusable which is fantastic. And then what did I say? So snacks, medicine, Clarks, and then like even little toys like little Legos or Polly Pockets and that kind of stuff just to keep it separate because I find when I travel I usually use a backpack and everything just falls into the bottom of the backpack and it's kind of a hot mess. So I, in an effort to be more organized, bought these thinking I would kind of like separate everything out that my daughter or I or my husband might need during a flight just to easily be able to kind of identify where it is and not like dig, 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 because that sucks when you're on an airplane and you have like this much space and you're like digging for stuff in a backpack. So yeah, again, this was super cheap, less than, I wanna say less than $15 on Amazon. And even though I didn't get to use it for my flight to Germany, I know I'll get to use it in the future. And I'm even thinking, looking at it now, this will be so super cute when Sophie goes to school to maybe even put in her backpack as like a pencil bag or something. So I liked that. Gosh, you guys, we are moving along so fast. So the next item is this yellow raincoat. So I'm going to show you guys this in the mirror um, in a second. But I really liked this raincoat. It has tons and tons and tons of good reviews on Amazon. And I like that it cinches in at the waist so it doesn't look like you're wearing a bag. It comes down to your knees, supposedly, haven't gotten to use it yet, but supposedly actually waterproof. And I like that it's a little bit stylish. I was thinking that when I'm in Germany, if it's raining, um, I could wear this in pictures and it just, you know, be a nice little pop of color uh, on a gloomy rainy day as opposed to like a black or a dark colored raincoat. But I thought about sending it back, um, but I really like it. I think it's cute. I think it's kind of timeless. I like yellow. Sophie has a yellow raincoat so we get to match. And I like all the little drawstrings and the little pin striping on the sleeves. I just think that that is really cute. Okay, friends, so last one. How am I gonna show you guys this? So I actually ended up buying a whiteboard on Amazon. And I wanted one that wasn't like humongous, but one that was bigger than just like an 18 by 24. Because I know that all of us that are moms are kind of in a pickle right now, like trying to either work ourselves and homeschool our kids and like keep track of things. So my goal with this whiteboard is to kind of write down a schedule for Sophie. You know, some of her teachers are still doing Zoom classes and things like that. So instead of just having it on like my phone or my calendar, it's just kind of writing it out. And then I've also had a running list of things that I wanna do with Sophie, like a tie dye project and painting and then Easter stuff. So all of that's gonna go on this board. But what I also liked about it is I like the idea of maybe even writing like workouts and things like that down. So if you're in the boat of like having to do home workouts right now, which I'm like trying to do, but I'm also just eating a lot. But if I get my act together, 
I would love to write down little home workouts on here, maybe like track certain things. Um, my husband had also suggested maybe using this to like meal plan. So actually have it as like half Sophie stuff and then half what we plan on eating during the week, just to kind of hold ourselves a little bit more accountable and not go like fully off the rails during this weird time. So um, the reason I keep calling it weird time is because I've heard that YouTube is like demonetizing channels for saying and words like so. We're not doing any of that because I don't want to get demonetized. Um, regardless, whiteboard, it's a great size. I think it was 40 bucks, which is definitely the cheapest that I found anywhere. It's got little magnets and a pen that come with it. So that's great even for in the future to be able to put stuff on there. So this will be hanging in my office and I really, really like it. All right, my loves, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, like I said at the beginning, I hope you guys are all staying safe and sane and not eating all your feelings all the time. Um, I don't know anybody that does that. And um, please leave me some feedback below. Do you guys like these videos, these favorites videos? Should I keep doing them? What else do you wanna see? Do you wanna see the activities that I'm doing with my daughter? Currently, I am still working and going into an office right now but my husband is home all the time and he's really been helping with Sophie as well as my mom. But I know we're all in the same boat right now trying to come up with activities for our kiddos. So if you want me to film any of that kind of stuff, I definitely can. Um, I think next week we're gonna try some ice tie-dye where you actually, so I've done a tie-dye video before, which I'll put up here and um, it was great and I still love the shirts we wear them, but apparently there's this method where you use ice and just the powder of the tie-dye and it makes it look kind of like watercolory. So I definitely want to try that out next week. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you soon, bye.